So what's your favorite use case for AI? One of my favorite use cases from the beginning has been copywriting. No doubt copywriting is an important part of any business content creator. Um, and so I believe that one of the best use cases for AI from the beginning has absolutely been the different tools like ChatGPT and Article Factory that can help you create your copy, uh, ranging everything from blogs to guides to even something like a script for a podcast. I start the process, the ideation with copywriting, no doubt 100% human, uh, creating the topic, creating the um, ideas for the episode, right? Whether it's a solo episode or an episode with a, with a guest, creating questions, things like that. And then I turn it to the AI chatbot. And once I put it in there, then you have this conversation with the chatbot where um, it, it can actually save you a ton of time. So, you know, if you're copywriting, you know that it's not a, a magic tool that is just going to create all of your copy without your input. Um, and, and if you do choose to do it that way, then you're probably going to find that the, a, the, the copy that you share on your website via email and across the web is going to be copy that people are not going to engage with. And what you're trying to do in this journey as a marketer, business person, leader, basically anyone is to really uncover the best ways that you can use AI driven copywriting, right? And I do think it'll revolutionize content creation and strategies because I've been using it for years now. And even with Article Factory, which we built um, almost a year ago now, we know that the potential for you to scale content is huge. I can't read a thousand blogs in a day. I can't write a thousand blogs in a day, right? And these are all elements of your content online, elements that matter to your brand. No matter if you're a small business owner, a large business, an artist, a writer for that matter, right? Like we know when Hollywood was on strike, we, we, we followed the story of so many writers who were using chat GPT and other tools like Anthropic, um, to write scripts. And what you'll find is that whatever tool you're using, you can start to customize the experience and, and it'll capture your voice. Uh, your voice in branding, your voice in the way that you speak. Um, in in my case, what I like to do is give the chatbot a list of words not to use. Don't use words like unlock. Don't use words like delve into. But even when we do that, it sometimes, you know, uh, we'll still write content that way. But I try to be specific about the keywords that I'm using. Uh, give it context, give it the sources, give it the stats. No different than you would if you were working with a an assistant, a virtual assistant or someone in-house. But understanding your audience when it comes to copywriting is probably the most in, one of the most important aspects of AI copywriting. What you want to do is do a deep dive into defining your target audience, the demographics, the psychographics, their preferences, their pain points. Explain to the AI what, what kind of message is going to resonate with your, uh, with, with your audience's specific needs, their aspirations, their challenges. And you know, when you're creating ads on, on paid search, you'll notice that it asks you for the interests, the behaviors, right? Affinity groups, that sort of a thing. So the more you define your target audience and that avatar, the ideal customer profile, the better the outcomes. So you really want to make sure that you explain that to the AI chatbot as a starting point to the topic that you want to write about. Okay. So crafting the compelling headlines, that that's also an important aspect. Now with Article Factory, the way we've built it is that you can, yes, give it a prompt and it will, it'll write the entire copy for you. But really the best outcomes come from the copywriting that is done in blocks, in sections. So start with the headline, 
you know, pair up the title, the headline, the description. And this way you can actually craft a really captivating headline that is going to grab the attention and spark the interest of the reader. You have to go a little bit beyond just what the search engines want. You really want to go uh, uh, further into the minds of your target audience. For example, incorporate statistics and case studies uh, into what you're doing at the beginning of the process. So feed that information that you might already have so that you can create a headline that truly captures the, the, the entire takeaway of the article. Now, that might, I would say violate, but that, that might be a, a, one of the things that people who write for digital content will tell you, don't do that. Don't do that. You want to write headlines that are attention grabbing. And what they mean by attention grabbing is to do clickbait. So these grand headlines to grab you into it. But once you're into the copy, you realize that, wait, this is actually very misleading. And you don't want to do that because there's already too much of that on the web. And the reality is the reader is not going to stay with the, co the content, be it whether it's a digital piece of content or a piece of content that they're going to download. And specifically for us here at um, uh, the AI Equation podcast, we wrote this, you know, uh, guide to copywriting. So how to master copy, copywriting with AI. We didn't do it just with AI. We spent a lot of time to put together a framework that you can use in tandem with all the tools that you're going to use, because we understand you're going to use Gemini. You're going to use, you know, Facebook's or Meta's Llama. You're going to use chat GPT, Article Factory, uh, Jasper, there are so many tools out there. So you have to figure out which tool works best for you and then go down that road. Or maybe you're using Microsoft Copilot and it's already incorporated into your PowerPoint and your docs, right? Now, the next thing that you want to do in your copywriting is uh, be clear with the messages. So this this piece of it, I believe that needs to really be done by by the human side less by the ai side so focus on like what 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 overarching message are you trying to get the ai to get across within the content like every block of the content right and avoid using jargon and complex language to th this is going to ensure that you are clear and that people can remember the content and and don't assume that your audience wants you to write copy for, let's say, your industry that is full of jargon. People just want to be able to read an article. So think about the articles that you read on New York Times or a story that you might have seen on TechCrunch. It should be fun and it should be interesting, right? So make sure that you put that message together, give it to the AI, and sometimes it could be a back and forth. It's not going to happen on the first try, second try, third try, depending on the piece of content that you feed it into it. As I said at the beginning of the of this episode, you really want to make sure that you have all the information collected, right? Now, if you're a business, no doubt you want to highlight your unique value pros propositions, so your UVP. So make sure that you, throughout the copy, articulate what sets you apart, what sets your company, your product, your brand, your service, what sets you apart from the competition. Hit on those points, highlight those unique benefits. You know, what is the difference between honestly a feature and a function? And, 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 and then make that into your irresistible offer, right? And it doesn't always have to be just at the end of uh, a, a piece of content, the, the call to action that is, right? You can have multiple call to actions throughout the content. But if you want it that way, you actually have to tell the AI chatbot to do it that way. Of course, we cannot overlook the components and elements of SEO, search engine optimization, because after all, if you're creating copy or content, whether you're on the marketing side, brand side, um, or influencer side, ultimately you want people to engage, click through, either buy your product or support you in one way or another. And it 
it's no doubt an important key element to make sure that you have the right meta tags, the right meta descriptions, the right anchor text, the right links within. So internal links, external links. So there's a lot of elements of SEO that you can, um, that, that can help you with not only the writing, but what tags you should use based on what focus keywords you are trying to, to accomplish. Right. Um, Article Factory does that in a very good way because it actually gives you all those tags within the copy so that you can use it when you're doing SEO, whether you're using WordPress or another content management system won't, won't really matter. Probably you have an, a, a webmaster who's going to add those tags for you, right? So keeping SEO at top of mind definitely when you are doing copywriting in AI is important. Now, creating the emotional appeal, I feel like this is a, a little bit like delivering your clear message. You want to connect with your audience emotionally to make that lasting impression. Unfortunately, the, the AI chatbots right now don't do such a good job. Now, I have tested across different uh, chatbots, different uh, uh, LLMs, and probably the one that I think does this best is um, Anthropics Claude. So Claude three, so go, go check out Claude and, and see how that differs from chat GPT or Bing or uh, Gemini. Right. But, um, you, if you're going to get into the emotional side of, of, of the writing, then you need to have some, some of those insights or examples. What I mean by that is you tell the chat bot what, what you want someone to emotionally feel like. And so how is that content that you are writing going to resonate? No doubt that there's going to be certain keywords that you need to put into that list, right? And then, of course, we touch on a little bit of making sure that you lay out the benefits over just features. So if you, you know, you're selling a product, you don't want to just list the features, you want to go into what the benefits truly are. So highlight the benefits that help the audience visualize the value that they're going to get from reading that. And I think one of the ways that you can do that, especially if you're doing long form content, is that at the top of that piece of content, you say, here are the, you know, almost like a table of contents. Here's what I'll cover today. And this could happen in your email marketing newsletter. It could happen with your blog posts where you give people a, a real quick synopsis of what they're going to encounter as they go through the uh, piece of content, right? And then, of course, using persuasive language is important. I do think that the AI chatbots like ChatGPT and Article Factory are doing a pretty good job in selecting words and phrases that really can drive action and evoke that emotion that you're looking for. But again, you you do need to give it context of what emotion are you trying to pull? Are you trying to be, you know, uh, humorous? Are you trying to make it more dramatic, sad? Uh, if you're trying to create, for example, a script for a mystery podcast, you're going to have to describe what that emotion is. And believe me, the 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 AI chatbot is going to be able to drive that message home. And then of course, creating a sense of urgency is ultimately important in any piece of content because you want people to take action and go to the, you know, whatever it is, a, a product that you're trying to sell, or in the case of blog posts on Article Factory, where you are trying to create content that really it helps engage with the audience, right? So there you have it. A deep dive into the world of AI powered copywriting. I think it's one of the best use cases that exist today in terms of um, content at a, a content at large. Because, you know, when you look at the visual content, and we'll talk about this in another episode, whether it's Dolly or whether it's, you know, the, the video tools that are out there, they're still not all the way there. You know, humans are going to do a way better job than than the AI does. But when it comes to copywriting, I mean, you could really expand your footprint online by using tools like Article Factory, right? So listen, join us on next on the next AI equation as we continue our exploration into the limitless possibilities of AI. Until then, I'm your host, Alex, signing off. <laughs>